Today I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the Water Genasi that comes from the new Monsters of the Multiverse. Water Genasi descend from Merids, aquatic genies from the elemental plane of water. Water Genasi are perfectly suited to life underwater and carry the power of waves inside themselves. Their skin is often shades of blue or green, sometimes a blend of the two. If they have a human skin tone, there is a glistening texture that catches the light, like water droplets or nearly invisible fish scales. Their hair can resemble seaweed, waving as if in a current, or it can even be like water itself. As a water genasi, you have the following traits. You are humanoid, you are medium or small, you select when you choose the race. Movement speed of 30 and a swimming speed to equal that. You have acid resistance. You are amphibious, and you have a feature called Call to the Wave. You know the Acid Splash cantrip. Starting at 3rd level, you can cast the Create or Destroy Water spell with this trait. And starting at 5th level, you can also cast the Water Walk spell with this trait, without requiring a material component. Once you cast either of these, you can't do so again unless you use the spell slot until you finish a long rest. And we choose whether we're going to use Intelligence, Wisdom, or Charisma when we select the race. And finally, we have Dark Vision. So Acid Splash is a, you know, it's not a super great cantrip, but it is good on certain spell lists. The weaker end of the cantrip spell list, we have Bard, who really would appreciate getting to do this d6 damage over a d4 damage at the same range, and we can hit two people, so potentially two d6 damage, and scaling from there. So Bard's going to appreciate that, but I think for most spell lists, for most characters, this kind of falls to the a little bit meh end. Now there's going to be some marshals who don't have ranged options, Paladin comes to mind, where this is going to be kind of nice to have a ranged option on your list at all. And so it's it really, to me, is filling in gaps of weakness, but where there's going to be a lot of characters who are already strong in cantrips, this isn't going to add anything. Crater Destroy Water often falls under Flavorful, maybe in a survival campaign it's going to be a big deal. Destroy Water can be kind of nice for removing mist or doing a thing here and there, but it's going to be situational. So I'm not going to give any more points to a spell list because you're probably not casting this multiple times a day and so I think it's as good on marshals as it is on spellcasters. Any class is going to equally benefit from this as any other class. And I can say the same for Waterwalk. Waterwalk is pretty cool and I actually love the imagery of it being on a fighter or a barbarian. I like that imagery of running across the water to smack him with an axe. That's just me, however. I think it just like Create or Destroy Water in that every single class benefits from it the same amount. It's not very likely that you're going to be casting this multiple times a day, I would think. But, you know, certain campaigns, maybe that's incorrect. If we're on a ship, maybe taking a spellcaster to be able to cast this multiple times does make sense in that case. Overall, I feel like the Water Genasi is bringing water breathing which is quite good. Acid resistance, which I didn't expect, but hey, there it is. Some interesting fill in the gaps, either utility or kind of round us out as a build. Nothing here is coming across as powerhouse. I think the most defining feature is the water breathing. In certain campaigns, you're really going to want water breathing, and this is one of those races that can bring it to you. But at the end of this list of Genasi, I feel like Fire Genasi by far got the short end of the stick. Next up is the Water Genasi, and then I think the Air and Earth Genasi, both are standard standout powerhouse races. Water Genasi is pretty middle ground for me, but do you agree? If you do not, or if you do, let me know in the comments down below. For D&D Daily, we release new D&D content all the freaking time, so if you love D&D, this is your spot. Hit that subscribe button and come hang out more often.